baby. I am loving the weather for April so far. It was gorgeous yesterday. It's going to be another gorgeous one today. Good morning. Good morning, Toronto. Best city out there because it's just us, so we could say that. Uh, Sid, Meredith, good to have you here morning. with us on Breakfast Television. Good morning. It is going to be that kind of day tonight. Uh, it was so gorgeous yesterday. It was great. Oh. And doesn't that just put a spring in your step, Sid? It does. Yeah. That puts us, because yesterday was like errand day for me. Oh, was it? So it's just the perfect Tell day me everything. to run a few errands what here What do you do? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to know Sid's errands. Dry, I went to the dry cleaners. Okay. I uh, picked up some uh, eucalyptus for my sinuses. For your sinuses? No joke. Eucalyptus, am yeah. I, am I the only one here getting destroyed with my sinuses no, right no. now? No, no. It's, it's bad. Destroyed. It's really bad this year. I feel like there's a year. cement block in there yeah sometimes do you mean eucalyptus like uh, for your bath no just for this to smell it oh to smell it okay <laughs> to shove okay. it in my nose and okay go, got it and, yeah it helps and get some relief it, does. <laughs> it, it works <laughs> yeah because my wife a couple weeks ago said you should try eucalyptus oil and i'm right. like ah whatever and it worked yeah. so i wife, did that wife is right yes as, as always um the other reason it feels like spring here is the stanley cup playoffs are now days away they're going to yeah. begin saturday we don't know the schedule yet for the leafs we assume that Rodgers would like a Saturday night game one. When will we know that? We'll know at the end of Thursday night. Okay. I believe the regular season ends Thursday night. Okay. But American Networks, just so you know, if there's afternoon Leaf games or if there's times you don't like, there's the American Networks have a lot of sway. Mm. TNT and ESPN. That's how this works. You would think Rodgers pays $5 billion, We have some sway. We'll see how that plays out. Should be the case. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, two things. One... If you're thinking about going down to Scotiabank and being in Maple Leaf Square, whether the Leafs are here or not, the Leafs are doing this again. They announced it formally yesterday. Go on, go on the Toronto Maple Leafs app, 1 p.m. So exciting. It's fit, and that's going to be the scene again. 1 p.m. before the day before each of these games, road or home, and get in line to get your tickets and have the opportunity to pay $22 for a beer. So, go Leafs, go. <laughs> go Leafs, go. Yeah. No, that's a hot ticket. I like that. I've actually been, I went to one of them, uh, Sid, and it's so much fun. It's a it's great so time. It's so much fun. You're just in the thick of it, and everybody's just such a Leaf fan, and yeah, home or away, it's great to be able to celebrate the team. It's great. Speaking of celebrating, a lot of people are, are hoping to celebrate Austin Matthews getting his 70th goal of the season. Uh, first player in league history since 92-93 when Timu Solani and Alexander McGillney both did it in the same year. It has been a long time since someone got 70 in this league. And he's on 69. He's one goal shy. They're taking on Florida at Florida tonight. Um, you haven't seen the Sheldon Keefe clip from Saturday yet, No, have you? I haven't. You've told me about this, but I haven't okay. seen it. So I'm, I'm assuming everyone in the fan base and people in the organization are really, really happy that Austin Matthews is about to make NHL history, right? One away. Yes. This was what Sheldon Keefe said <laughs> after Saturday's game about this joyous, joyous moment. Obviously, that's a major distraction. It doesn't help us, you know, what we're trying to accomplish on the ice. But, but uh, it's exciting. I get it, you know. And it's uh, especially when he gets to 69, you can see it. It's really, it's growing, anticipating, and now you're, you know, you're feeding it. You know, I'm feeding it. You know, I want, it, I want it to happen. But uh, um, uh, I wanted it for the fans, you know. Um, but uh, I'm glad the game's over. Let's move on. Okay, coach, with all due respect. Good times. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he said, I get it, I get it. Do you get it? This is a big deal. This is what a way. I mean, if I get it, <laughs> you should get it. You were there. You this got it. This is a major deal. You were there Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And look, it is a bit distracting, for sure. It's an individual goal. But it's something that is history-making. And to do that in a Leaf uniform, I mean, that's, that's a big deal. So I'm, yeah, I mean, tonight's the night. If he, if he plays. No, he's going to play. He cannot play, Sid. No, he After cannot play. After what we play. just heard, would you be shocked if that head coach no, no, said, no. you know what, <laughs> thinking <laughs> long term. Uh, coach. Thinking long term. Just letting you know. you got to play him tonight. you got to play. you got to play him tonight, Coach. I think he's yeah. going to play. Yeah, well, just so play. we're clear, no, I no. do think he's okay, going to play. Okay, good. Phew. But what worries me about that bigger picture, I've covered the Leafs when they've gone to, like, the conference final. Mm -hmm. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But I've covered it. The media pressure goes like this the amount of questions you get asked before a game after a game and on off days goes like this the more you go everything is scrutinized everything is put under a microscope I have been there Pat Quinn was a master the late Pat Quinn could handle that better than anyone 
it gets crazy if you get close to a Stanley Cup. If that's the pressure you're already feeling on this, what are we doing here? This, like, you're talking about the coach I'm talking about Sheldon, Sheldon. Keefe specifically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not talking about X's and O's. I'm talking about the heat of the moment. Figure it out. Get a grip. <laughs> can you handle... I'm being very serious. You can handle two and a half months of that media pressure if this is what you're reacting like when this joyous thing is happening? That's a joke. That's a joke. Figure it out. I wouldn't have brought him back this year. Figure it out. That's a weird reaction. Enjoy it. Have fun. Go watch your guy make history. That's a weird thing to me. Anyway, Austin Matthews, good luck to you. He's going to play tonight. You're going to play tonight, and he's going to score tonight. You're going to score tonight. You're going to get that 70, kid. You're going to get that 70. What a yeah. season. One of the greats in the history of the game. Austin Matthews, congrats. Go get it. 701, you're watching VT.